Besides gas, a four-wheel drive rig, off-road rig, needs tools. And that's what we have right here. The, uh, the toolbox. This is a standard mount that you'd mount to your vehicle. But right here we have an old jerry can. But inside is where the mine lies. There we go. It's a toolbox. Keep watching, find out how I built it. It's a sad day when the gas hand doesn't hold gas anymore. This one has the bottom rusted out. Not cut out, but rusted out. So the rest of it's actually in really good shape. It just lost its lost its bottom. So we're gonna turn this into a toolbox that you can still mount in the carrier. You know, these bolt to the back of the vehicle. This slides in here, and then there's a strapping. I have a metal strapping system that goes over and you can lock it. And so this is fixed on the back. And then you're gonna be able to pull it out and have a toolbox inside. So I cut out a piece of sheet metal right here. And that's going to be my toolboxes that go up inside. But I need to bend this around to fit inside. So I've made a bunch of patterns and stuff of the, uh, the actual can, what actually fits on the inside, kind of marked where the flats were and where the rounded were, and I actually laid them out and rolled them around so I can see which, which areas um, will actually have a bend and which areas kind of have a straight. So I'm going to work with this. This is going to be a bunch of actually uh, smaller toolboxes, but I figured I'd bend the entire thing at once and then cut them down to what I need. I worked up a quick sheet metal break. Just attached two pieces of steel, angle iron to the workbench. And I can just clamp them down and start the bending process where everything needs to be bent. Traced and cut out a piece that's the exact same size as the bottom. And this goes up inside, so this will get welded to this, and there'll be a slight overlap lip all the way around. And this will give it a good stop. What I need to do is make a mechanism that actually holds the toolboxes up inside so that you can just carry it around. So you can carry this entire unit around, but also when you want to release it, if you set it down, you'll have some sort of mechanism that you, you pull or push and it releases this and then you can pull this entire thing off and have access to the middle, but then you can also move these around if you want and they're not falling off. And what I'm going to do is actually have this solid steel, it's actually a cement form stake. I actually run through all of them um, up to the center of each, each one, but it'll fasten and become a permanent fixture of the bottom one. So it'll be welded to the bottom unit, um, and then these will slide down over, but then at the top, up inside here, to retain this rod, because if you hold on to this rod, it should hold them all up. We'll have a, um, this square tube will be mounted right up inside of here, about this long or so. And then this, the tip of this metal uh, spike will just come up, slide up inside while it's sitting up in there, 
and then there'll be a metal pin that just slides in here and engages in a corresponding hole in this pipe. Um, just hinge, allow it to lock together so you can carry the whole unit around and then you'll just reach through the opening when you want and actually this will be hinged and you'll just push that away and that will release this and then you can pull the whole thing off, you can pull it down, you can lock it, it will automatically lock, you can carry the thing around. It will be a little tricky so people can't exactly figure out how to open it without knowing exactly how. But that's the plan, so custom holes in there, uh, weld up this, make, finish making this, um, exactly how I want it, get a spring hooked on it, a little rod, bell, and get it lined up in here, weld it up to the top of this, and go from there. Just had to move that link a little bit lower. It was too far out. So the hinge point was too far out, so it's making that too easy to swing. But now we got this. And we got a hole in here. So that'll go in and line up with that hole. And it'll hold it in. I got two little tabs here that actually allow me to affix a spring. Keep spring tension on this. just tacked in right now. So that allows you to this is what we ended up with. So I actually uh, cut it a lot shorter and split it and then just bend it over because this gets welded up into the gas tank and the metal's kind of thin so I wanted to spread the load, give myself a lot of areas to actually uh, weld to so I'm not just pulling from one little area because it supports the entire weight of all the toolbox and then we got spring I angled the handle and on the bottom I flared it and then welded in a couple other little pieces because this upside down this will just um, slide in and then where's my mark right there this will be lined up with that that hole but that'll lock in there and hold in and it just gives you a little bit better aim if you hit on one of the sides or in quite as straight and then from inside the gas tank lid you'll reach your finger up in and you actually push down on that to release it and that'll hold it in there it's mushroom out on a little bit on the bottom and we'll set this up here and then we'll be able to lock this up into the gas tank we'll weld it to the bottom and then we'll be able to take this back off and then position these exactly We'll be able to position these exactly how we want them, and then they'll get sleek in here, so when they come off, your tools don't fall down the hole. They'll just be around there, and they'll have this fixed in the middle. Okay, got a tech welded on the bottom. So it's all inserted, so now, or I can release it by pushing the little button in the inside. I need to make the bottom one watertight and so I'm brazing instead of welding it's already tack welded but I'm going to braze just to uh, keep the heat input low so I just don't warp everything that I barely did um, brazing melts roughly about half the temperature maybe even lower than that than actually welding so I don't have to put near the heat that it would be if I actually welded this seam all the way across and if I welded it the entire thing uh, inevitably I would just warp warp it all. So the nice thing about brazing is this stuff flows so on the first try and this is about 36 inches in circumference all the way around in a 36 inch stretch I got one pinhole and that's it so because brazing allows you just to flow it in one little pinhole I need to touch up and the thing is still watertight. So the idea is that you're going to want to um, open this up and may or may not want to remove these. But you're going to want to slide them. And it's definitely not the smoothest. I mean, it actually moves pretty smooth. But I don't like how it's rubbing on there. So what I'm going to do is install little ball bearings here and here on opposing sides so that it rides on the center. It rides on them. So what I did is I stole 
some ball bearings off of actually, these are the same as skateboard wheels, but these are actually a roller blade wheel. So you just pop the bearings out, they're very universal in size. And then I got a little piece of metal, I cut off a little teeny piece of metal that fits there, drilled a hole right there. And I'll just slide these in, set it right here, and I'm actually just going to stick them proud just a little bit. Tack weld from this side, and then on the other side, I'm just going to put a tack weld to the center of the bearing. I'm never planning on moving these bearings, and these bearings aren't going high speed, they're just there for rolling. But just tack that center, just right on the little bit of an edge, and that'll... As long as I'm careful, I won't ruin it. But that'll just give it a nice rolling surface. So just a little... I mean, there... They're on there. So that'll let you load them up with tools nice and heavy and it just makes everything move just a little bit a little bit nicer so now we're going to start painting it and what we're going to do is actually um, plasti dip on the inside which is kind of like a rubberized coating if you watch the video where I did the uh, the toolbox, um, the uh, tool, the wrench organizer, I plasti dipped all that so that the tools kind of grip in there, they don't slide around as much. Um, it'll add some sound deadening too, so this isn't so tinny sounding. But I'll do the inside with this and then I'll paint the outside in something completely different. Well, there you go, guys. This is the finished product. It's all painted up, detailed up. And this is a, a standard, just a jerry can lock. You're allowed to put a padlock or something in it. But you can take all this off. This base would actually mount to your vehicle. It bolts down, so you can't access the, the bolt holes or anything else while it's in. And you can leave it in the base. Um, I'll show you that. You just screw there. You push a little lever. You can actually just leave it in the base at all times and grab whatever tools you want, or you can just extract the tire. You know, if you just want a cold drink out of the bottom, you can just you want to take the whole thing off. Take the whole thing off. We can get all of our tools. We can get our we can get our bailing wire. We can get our cordless drill. Some extra oil, whatever we need. All of our wrenches are right at hand. We can get to those. If we need to take this somewhere, we can take that along. We can take the next thing along. Um, this is completely watertight down here, so you could put toe straps, whatever else you want, but you could actually fill it full of ice and put all your, your beverages down there. The little ball bearings just allow the weight of all the tools allow everything to move around nice and freely and also so it's not digging into the stuff grab what you want the logo allows me to see what's what which directions what I've also got a label on the one side which is front because it slides in better one way than the other but slide that down push the little lever inside here it locks and I can carry that anywhere I need to 
Well, there we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoy that. Um, if you don't want to build one, just think it's neat, and yeah, you can actually buy them. There's a company, I'll put a link below, that makes actually a really cool one. It's not quite as uh, cool as mine, of course, because you can tell that there's is a, uh, you can tell it's a toolbox, because there's actually like a, a hinge seam here, but they got it pretty neat. There's a key lock up in here, so you unlock it, and then the top flips up, and the whole side panel comes off, and there's actually drawers, which is an awesome little thing, but I'll put a link below in the description to that. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and definitely, definitely share this on Facebook, because... I think the, uh, the four-wheel drive community will like this, and this is definitely, this design right here, I've never seen anybody else do it. It's, uh, it's a 65 original. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.